How's it going guys? It's Thomas on Planet Tech and you're watching every LEGO Star Wars mock at London Brit Festival. So we're back at the Royal National Hotel up in London and we've got some awesome Star Wars mocks on display to show you guys, including a collab project of uh, iconic lightsaber duels or battles from uh, the new lug, Gonk Lug. So uh, yeah, I can't wait to show you guys. So as well as joining in on the collaboration, Ben has also provided his own build. It's an Imperial base. So we've got these rebels infiltrating the line of them, breaking through the wall there. Got some turrets on the top. And then we've got some death troopers, some shock troopers, the mortar trooper there as well. And then loads of those new, uh, new style storm troopers in the base look really, really cool. I think that's Inferno Squad up there, could be wrong, but I believe that's Inferno Squad. And then we've got like a communications room. Um, and we seem to have like the Imperial officer, uh, his kind of headquarters there. So yeah, a really nice build by Ben Bricks. Here we have the Aldani Heist by Alpha F World War One builds, uh, based off of the Andor TV show. This looks really nice. Got some nice olive green terrain down here. Got Hyperion there, just chilling. Got some stormtroopers that look like they're on patrol, and then we got this big dam style uh, base. No interior to this one, just a, just a facade. But here yeah, we got one of the jump troopers there, one of the combat. Uh, drivers. I've actually picked one of those up today. Found one of those for a good price. Uh, Pro Droid and a couple of Scout Troopers. But yeah, the first time I've seen this uh, this scene depicted in Lego, so it's pretty cool. So Gonk Lug's first official outing. The brief was iconic lightsaber duels or iconic lightsaber battles, and I kickstarted the project. Uh, I got Jewel of the Fates, and so we've got uh, a really retro uh, Obi-Wan and Qui-Gon Jinn figure fighting Darth Maul because I just don't have any, uh, any more recent ones than these guys. And then uh, the Brute Festival guys gave me this uh, figure to hide in the build. Um, I was hoping to light this up, but I did, didn't get time in the end. Um, but yeah, so you can go around the Brick Festival and try to find all of the uh, hidden figures with letter tiles. Uh, just a little fun activity to do. Um, but yeah, and then we've also got my little gonk figure that's that's uh, fallen down there, down there. But uh, yeah, all of our gonk club members are going to try put gonks in their build. So yeah, just a little uh, little Easter egg thing to look out for. But yeah, I kicked it off. Next up, we have not that Sam Smith. He took on episode two and episode three. His first build, uh, he has Django Slave one. So this is actually a rebrickable recolor of the 2021 um, Boba Fett's Starships set. Uh, he's just recolored that, made the Camino platform, and he's got Obi Wan and Django fighting there. And then we've got his Do It build. So he also did uh, Episode Three, Anakin versus um, Count Dooku. And if you spin this here, hopefully I don't break it because he'll kill me otherwise. Slowly but surely, that pops out the top. <laughs> so that's a pretty cool feature from Sam. Good job, really detailed. Not a scene that you see depicted too much in uh, in Lego either, despite being quite an important scene for uh, for the for the start of the third film. So very very nice. On to Nick. He's took on the Siege of Mandalore. Uh, so we've got Ahsoka versus Maul in the sewers. Uh, we've also got Gar Saxon and 
Rook Cast, I think it is. I hope I got that name right. Um, but yeah, they just got they're down in the tunnels in the sewers on Mandalore. It's got some 332nd, I think they are, uh, backing up. And then I think it's Vaughn. My names for the clones are getting uh, <laughs> getting terrible, but a really, really nice job by Nick. Onto Studio 64, he took on episode three as well. Um, we got Anakin versus Obi-Wan on Mustafa. I really, really like this. This glow from the lava looks really, really sick. Uh, and he's also had the light up lightsabers. We've got the little droid up there as well. But yeah, this is a very, very tidy mark. I, I like this one a lot. But yeah, that lava, the lights look really good. CT Builds came in with a Dathomir mark uh, from Jedi Fallen Order. I know very, very little about this other than that's Cal Kestis with his BD droid. And uh, I'm assuming that is an Inquisitor, but honestly, don't know. <laughs> Couldn't tell you much more than that. We had our Aussie friend Brick Mad Sam come over and uh, he was a guest build for us and he took part in the collaboration. He took on Rebels. Uh, so we got the season two finale where we got Ahsoka, Maul, Ezra and Blackhead Kanan. He is, he is flexing that Blackhead Kanan on display here uh, against some of the Inquisitors on, uh, on Malachor. So that's really, really nice. Over here, we got Ben Brooks's build. He took on episode four. So we got the uh, the classic gang there, about to board the Millennium Falcon. Just got some uh, stormtroopers and some crewmen there. We've got his gonk droid there. And we've got Obi-Wan or Ben Kenobi versus Vader. A very, very nice tidy build from him. Next, we got another build from Sam. So he took on uh, episode five because we were a bit struggling for an episode five build. Uh, so rather than doing uh, best bin, he, uh, he decided to do Luke versus the Wampa and he's put some medics uh, in there treating the, <laughs> the Wampa now. He's not got an arm. Some vets in there, so that's pretty cool. And then Luke's just escaping. A really nice snow cave from Sam. I took on a build from episode six. So I've got the final duel. Uh, not quite how I wanted it to look. It looks a bit bare in my opinion, but a lot of people have said they liked it. Um, I'm definitely missing some details in the window that I really, really like to have added. And then I wanted to add like a whole like rim section around uh, just to make it look uh, a bit more complete. But uh, it's, it's okay, nonetheless. Someone switched out my uh, printed arms Vader from the, uh, <laughs> the ch uh, chamber set. Uh, so I need to make sure I get that back before I leave. Uh, we've got Santa Vader there. Uh, and then uh, he's blocking Luke's lightsaber as he tries to attack the Emperor. So that was another one by me. Red Bricks took on episode seven on Starkiller base. We've got Ray and Kylo Ren there in the trees, in the snow. Uh, we've also got Finn. He's passed out against the tree over there. Oh, I really like these trees. These look very, very good. Red Bricks did a great job on this one. And then another one by me, and it looks like uh, <laughs> it looks like Luke's really fell over here. We were trying to get one from every show or like every major film, every lightsaber duel. So I just threw this together really quickly. Uh, nothing special at all. Just a basic uh, 18 plus diorama, red bricks lying down, and then white tile on top with uh, with Kylo Ren and Luke on crate. And then finally, episode nine, Studio 64, come in with another one. Uh, we've got another one of those figures uh, that the Brick Festival team likes to put round. But yeah, we've got the remains of the Death Star and we've got Kylo Ren and Rey here. Really, really like this. He put this together in like a couple of hours last night. So, because uh, we, we needed an episode nine build. So shout out to Studio 64 for this one because this one looks very, very cool. <laughs> 